Hi YouTube friends! Today I'm making a soap cake. The first thing I'm going to show you is my embeds for the top of the cake. I have tiny little raspberries and small little green berries that I'm going to put on the top of the frosting and these are made with melt and pour. My fragrance today is birthday cake. This will be in the bottom half of the soap. It will turn brown just from the vanilla content. And this is my mold purchased at the Dollar Tree, Dollar twenty-five. And I will be using the Wilton 2D piping tip for my frosting. So let's stick blend up the batter. I'm working at room temperature and it is, I'm working one pound at a time. I'm going to do the bottom of the cake and then the frosting later. So I want to make this look like a layer cake. So I'm going to pour just half of each of these little small cake molds from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes. We'll put in a little layer of pink frosting and then pour more of this batter with the birthday cake fragrance over that. So this batter you're looking at will turn brown. So now we're ready for the pink layer. It's been 10 minutes. So I waited because when I pour this, I don't want it to break through. I want this to be a nice straight line here. And using a spatula will break the energy as well. Pour over the spatula and then you're less likely to break through the bottom half. So we're going to pour this little bit of pink, a bit of white in here to get a what looks like a frosting layer between. The, so it looks like a layer cake. That's my goal. And then a few minutes after this, I'm going to let this sit and then pour the rest of that birthday cake fragrance layer. And then we'll put on the piped topping. So it's really not that difficult to make these cute little cakes. What it really requires is patience in the layering so you don't have breakthrough of this color into the bottom. Now is the top half of the layered cake look. So again this is going to turn brown after it cures. Let's get as much of this out as we can and I'm going to tap 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 the mold to get it to level out. We just kind of move it around and give it a couple taps. So the frosting, this had to sit for about half an hour to thicken up to this nice kind of buttercream frosting thickness. So I put a dollop in the middle and then we're going to pipe around and add our embeds. Mm -hmm. 